Ronnie. I'm Tavara. And we are Porter Life, Life underscore the connection. So we have another question that we were given by Tiana Great the Choice. It says, What is your response to the COVID 19 vaccine? What do you think of it? Are you planning on taking it? If you are, why? If you have taken it, which one did you take? And what's your advice? Talk to people. So, um, we have not taken it. No. We will not be taking it. No. Um, my response is, is that it was, in my opinion, created very quickly. Um, I have not been a person to really get vaccinated really all of my life. Um, I don't even take the flu shot, so let alone any other new vaccine um, I prefer not to take. Um, I feel like there's a lot of other different diseases out here, such as um, cancer and HIV. No vaccines have yet to be created. How did you come out with a vaccine for such a great pandemic so quickly? I feel the same way. Um, my opinion is, I feel like it's just all a plan to control the people. Um, I honestly feel like it's just being enforced to control our minds. And it's, it's a scare tactic, honestly. I feel like with the pandemic, they kind of sheltered everybody in and they gave out this vaccine for everybody to be able to come back outside. But at the same time, you allow us to eat in the same restaurant with those same people that you tell us to stay away from. Or you allow us to stand in the store with a mask on, but yet when we get to the, get to our table or something, we can take our mask off and eat. You gotta so make it make sense. I just don't get it. I don't feel like it's that serious for you to have to go out and get the vaccine to the extreme that they're making it. And not only that, the vaccine is not a way to stop the spread of COVID. I mean, because it's, it's COVID in the vaccine. Why would you want COVID in your body? You can still catch COVID with the vaccine. So it's not a guarantee that you won't catch COVID or you won't yeah. be sick. No, you, you're gonna get sick regardless of the fact that you have it or not. And most of those that I know that have received the vaccine have gotten sick after taking either dose one, dose two, or just the one that's one dose. And like anything else, even with a new iPhone or a new phone, I don't purchase that phone as soon as it comes out. I need it to get the bugs and the kinks out. Um, so I wait on a couple of rounds of that phone to be given out. Um, I don't. I don't care how many rounds of the vaccine are given out, though. I won't be taking. I'm sorry. Um, we don't. We don't. Agree we don't. With it. We don't agree with it. And I just feel like they're making it such a big cause when malaria was big. What was it? The Ezekiel virus was big. Yeah. Well, is that this? What Ezekiel. The Ezekiel virus. I think it was. When that was big, I mean, they came out with vaccines, but it went away so quickly. And so did the vaccines, because you don't get vaccines for those things. Those you things don't. Going. And it's like now we come out with this coronavirus, but it's and what from what I know, it's two different. It's co it's COVID nineteen, and then it's coronavirus. Yeah, it's like the virus of the. It's kind of like HIV so and it's kinda, AIDS. It's like, it's confusing. And if you really don't know, why are you getting the vaccine? Especially if you, if you haven't had it. Like, if you haven't had COVID-19 or Corona, why are you getting it? Like, why um, why bother something that's not bothering you? Um, I actually think I had COVID I I in January of 2020 before it came out. Um, when my wife came back from the army, we believed that she had it. We took her to the emergency room because she was having trouble breathing. She had a terrible cough. Terrible. Terrible. Coughing up mucus. Everything. Um, she could barely lift her head off the pillow when she first came back from the army. And um, they diagnosed her with acute bronchitis. Acute bronchitis. And, yeah, so I had never had bronchitis or any of that such before. Right. And then all of a sudden they come out with a vaccine that attacks 
the lungs and it takes the what is it the airway yeah and so right after she left to go back to the army is when I feel sick um, but I literally just fill myself with herbs and things like that and soup and fluids and in like three to four days I was feeling better but I was down for about yeah a good three four days we so. just feel like we should you should just take care of yourself yeah eat healthy exercise drink water please drink water don't eat too much salt stay away from the salt stay away from the all the fast foods because that's nope. what they're enforcing on us ever since covid hit they've been enforcing fast food eat out get quick food no cook your food grow your food that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get into that but that's what we feel like our vaccine will be is taking care of our own selves. That's how yeah, absolutely. Vaccine. And keep in mind, I'm a nurse, yeah, and I'm gonna say no. Hey guys, I'm Carly, and I'm Callie from Carly and Callie. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin', Tiana? And Hi, Tony. Tony. So we were asked by I'm not sure if it was Tiana or Tony, but one of them slid in our DMs, right? and culprit please comment down below whichever one of y'all it was comment down below they asked if we could answer a few questions for their channel because they're preparing a video and we agree to it. yeah and we agreed to be a part of it the first question was what is your response to the covid19 vaccine not nah, techie <laughs> first of all i'm against certain things being in my body i don't know what's in these vaccines these vaccines are out here giving people bell palsy seropalsy all these blood clots it's killing off people Heart I'm, problems. I'm, like, it's a no for me. Yo, I heard one um case someone got a stroke and died from it. Like it it's a no for me. Easy, like. The vaccine. I don't know. Like I feel like it got approved too quick. In my personal opinion, like it got approved in like what a year? Less than a Less year. Less than a year. Like how do you know what's in there? Have you tested it on a certain amount of people before you gave it to the whole world? Like who are your test dummies? Who are you testing it on? Us? Are we the test dummies right now? Like that, that, that's yeah. how it feels like. So. For me, I'm not enough. taking it. I don't want it. I'm with you over here. I feel like if you're sick, then you take medication. You don't take medication, medication if you're not sick. <laughs> Next question. I don't know. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no. It's not going to work. Mm -mm. No. No. Tiana. No. Mm -mm. This question got me tight, bro. Hi. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Tiana, for giving us these questions. We'll catch you on the flip side.